Hey Grace Kids, we are so glad you're joining us. In this lesson, we will be continuing in our series, Elisha, God's Powerful Prophet. And today, we'll be learning just how absolutely amazing God is. He's able to do so much more than we can ever imagine. And did you guys know that God desires to protect us? That's right, He wants you to know that He will keep you safe and provide for all of your needs. Many times, God knows exactly what we need, even when we don't even realize it ourselves. But before we jump into our lesson today, here are a couple of announcements. Hey, it's Cassie here. We're so excited to see so many of you in person today as we reopen our Grace Kids classrooms ranges 3 to 11. We can't wait to see you at 10 a.m. Today we will have a small group time at 4 p.m. We hope you can join us. Now let's see what crazy invention our friend Mega Watt has come up with for this week. His call, the blanket, acetate, reinforcing, invisible, emergency restrainer. I'm going to call barrier for short. That sounds fascinating. But why did you wrap me in it? The real question is, why should I wrap you in it? Uh, because this is really hot and uncomfortable. It's worth it. And I'm going to keep you safe. I also installed a series of laser exploding bear traps around your house. No need to thank me. What? I'm not going to thank you. Um, good. That's what I was just going to say. Meg, get me out of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But I must protect you. Protect you from the enemies. They're everywhere. Ninjas, bank robbers, and giraffes! Giraffes? Yes, giraffes, the yellow spotted things. All of them for what you need to let next that are way too long. Never touch a giraffe. I think you should calm down. Sorry, bad experience at a petting zoo. Meg, you're paranoid. I don't need bubble wrap to protect me. I've got God. God will protect me from harm. Harm? Who's harm? That sounds like a giraffe name. Uh, oh my goodness. I said harm, not herm. God's my protector. He's the most powerful being in the universe and can handle anything. But aren't you the latest bit nervous? There's no telling what could happen. Your enemies could hurt you or talk bad about you or could get a giraffe to look you in the face. I don't need to be nervous. Not only does God protect me, he provides for me and my every need. He promises us that his word, the Bible, that he will never leave us. If you've got God, you're covered. So, you have no need for my barrier? Not even my laser guiding exploding bear traps? What are you gonna do? I give the God the glory. I sing his praises. It's not a matter of winning or losing because God's already won. <laughs> Take out the stuff in your front yard. Uh, please tell me how you're gonna do that. <laughs> and is it easy or safe? <laughs> of course, something. I simply grab a hold of one end of the barrier and use the power of locomotion. What does that mean? <laughs> I have to run by everybody. Um. All right. I guess we're just gonna hand over the mangroves to someone else. Ooh, this looks like a bear trap. Why'd you bring it in my house? I'm gonna touch Don't it. touch it! I'm gonna Don't touch it! touch it! Hi, Logan here with today's power verse. Tis a great reminder just how much God cares for us. It can be found in the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. Ready? Alright, here it is. God protects the wise of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Psalm 9710. Pretty easy, right? Okay, now say it with me. God protects the wise of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Psalm 9710. Great job! Let's see how well my friends have memorized this verse. 
God protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Psalms 97, 10. God protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Psalm 97, 10. God protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Psalm 97, 10. Today's Bible story is found in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 38 through 41. Elisha had been staying at the house of a Shumanite woman. She had provided Elisha with free food and a place to stay. But Elisha left and went to Gilgal, a place with a famine. That doesn't seem to make sense. I don't know about you, but I like to eat. I don't like to purposefully go somewhere where there isn't any food. Along the way, Elisha met up with a group of prophets. He decided to sit down and meet with them. They sat around a fire and talked for a while. Before long, Elisha was hungry. He told one of the servants that was with him, put a large pot on the fire and cook some stew for these men. The servant went out into the woods nearby, gathered some fruits and nuts and plants and put them in the stew. He didn't realize it, but one of the plants he picked up was poisonous. He put all of the ingredients into the stew, cooked it, and began to serve it to the prophets. One of the men tasted it and then cried out, there's poison in the stew. Elisha didn't even hesitate for a moment. He knew that God could protect them. He knew that God was a God of miracles. Elisha said, don't worry, bring me some flour. Elisha threw a handful of flour into the pot. Instantly, God took out the poison from the stew, and the prophets ate and were not harmed. God had protected his people. A little while later, Elisha was with about a hundred people. Once again, they were very hungry. A man arrived with one sack of grain and 20 loaves of bread. Elisha told one of the servants, feed the people with this. The servant knew that there was no way a hundred people could eat just a little bit of bread and some grain, but the servant obeyed anyway. God did a miracle with the bread and the grain. By the time the servant had passed it all out to a hundred people, there was even some food left over to spare. Now that was a miracle of provision. God can provide for his people when it seems like there is no hope. In today's lesson, you will learn that you don't have to worry and fear. God will protect you and provide for you. He is an amazing God. Have you ever been invited to someone's house for dinner? Isn't that awesome? A lot of the time when someone invites you over for dinner, they fix lots of good food. What is your absolute favorite thing to eat? Then after dinner, maybe they even serve you a big dessert. What is your favorite dessert? Wow, those are some great ideas. But what if you ended up going over their house and they ended up serving this for dinner? Whoa, that's a lot of poison. How many of you would freak out just a little bit if there was a plate of poison for you to eat? Yes, I think I would be slightly alarmed also. In our Bible story today, Elijah found himself in a very similar situation. He was about to eat a stew that had been prepared for him and discovered there was poison in the stew. That's not good. But Elisha didn't freak out. He didn't get worried or scared. Even when the other prophets were screaming, there is death in the stew. Elisha calmly said, don't worry. How could he be so calm in the midst of that dangerous situation with the poison in the stew? Well, Elijah knew what we need to learn. God will keep you safe from harm. So throughout the Bible, God gives us examples of how he's our protector. And our power verse says it wonderfully. God protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. That's in Psalm 97, 10. God is our protector. He can and will protect us from harm just like he did Elisha and the prophets. Elisha threw some flour in the pot and prayed and God immediately healed the stew. Sometimes you may face dangerous situations. You may get lost or get into a car accident or even get sick, but you don't have to worry or fear that you may die. Instead, trust God. He can and will protect you. Just pray and receive God's peace. 
Remember that he is your protector. He protects his people from harm. God will not only protect me when I'm in danger, but God will provide for my needs. Have you ever had a big need? Maybe your parents lost their job or your family had a hard time paying the bills. There might be no money to even buy enough food. Or maybe you moved to a new school and had no friends. You didn't know anyone at all and you might have felt all alone. Whatever your need was, you knew that you couldn't handle things on your own. Your need was just too big. And you know what? Elisha felt the same way. He had a group of a hundred people who were very hungry and he was hungry. They had no food and they were in an area where there was a famine and the famine was going on. And that means there's no food to eat. So suddenly a man showed up with a little bit of food, a bag of grain, 20 loaves of bread. Now you guys need to understand something. When you hear a loaf of bread, you probably think of this. This is what our loaves of bread look like. Lots of bread slices, many slices in our loaves of bread. But that's not what the loaves of bread in Elisha's time looked like. They didn't have any machines like we do to make bread. Their loaves this guy brought were probably more like this size, not very big at all. When you think about feeding 100 people with only 20 small pieces of biscuit uh, or rolls, that sounds impossible, right? But God is able to provide for our needs even when it seems impossible. He can provide a job for your family when they have no idea where they will work. He can provide friends for you when you think you don't even know a single person. God is our provider. He provided enough food for a hundred people and they even had some left over. That's pretty awesome, huh? God is our protector and God is our provider. He can do miracles for you. And there is one thing though that you must choose to do. You must give glory to God. Don't dare take the credit for a miracle. Don't think for a second that you could have been protected or provided for by yourself. We must all recognize that God is our protector and he's our provider. And when he performs the miracle, the first thing that we should do is to take a time out and worship. We could do a praise dance or sing him a song and just thank him for what he has done. He is the one who protects us. He is the one who provides for us. He is an amazing God. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna thank God. We're gonna thank God in advance for being our protector and our provider. So bow your heads and fold your hands and join in prayer with me. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much that you are our protector. You surround us, Lord God, with angels, and we know that you are always with us. You never leave us, you never forsake us, that we have Jesus living on the inside of us, and we can walk through anything because he is with us. And we know, Father, that we can put on the full armor of God, that um, we can protect ourselves with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness, which is the blood of Jesus, that our belt of truth is around our waist. It's the Bible, it's the word of God that we can speak forth, that our feet are fitted with a gospel of peace. And I speak peace over the children today, Lord God. I speak peace over their situation. We have a shield of faith with which we can quench every fiery dart of the enemy. And we have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we are fully armored in your protection, Lord God. And I just thank you, Lord, that the children are receiving the revelation knowledge of who you are and what you've truly done for them, that they can release by their words protection, that they can speak blessing and peace and provision over their families and their friends. You are our provider and you are Jehovah Jireh. We have all our needs met. We thank you, God, for our home. We thank you for our family. We thank you, Lord God, for our siblings, Lord, and our school, and that all all of our needs, our physical needs, the bread in our bellies and, and our health in our body are all met by you. And we will continue to give you, God, glory and honor. 
So we just thank you, Lord God, and we just pray for those that are hurting, those that are hungry, those that feel insecure and unsafe, that you would minister to them now, that you would send your good Holy Spirit and you would send godly people to minister life and blessing and food and a word of encouragement in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Hey, Grace Kids, I'm Mr. Rob, and I have today's Brain Drain. I'm going to ask you four questions from today's lesson. Post your answers in the comments below to earn your Brain Drain pack. Are you ready? Okay. Question one. What did Elijah tell his servant to make for the prophets? Question two. According to the lesson today, God will blank me from harm. Question three, according to today's lesson, I must give blank the glory. And question four, where is today's power verse found? Remember to post your answers in the comments below to earn your brain drain pack. Now, here's Cami to wrap up today's lesson. We serve such an amazing God, don't we? He is our protector and our provider. When you are facing a scary situation, isn't it so reassuring to know that God is with us? As always, if you would like to dig a little deeper into this lesson, our parent resource sheet is available on our Grace Kids webpage for you to use. We hope you can join us today at 4 p.m. for our small group time. We hope to see you then, and I hope you have an amazing week.